one blood, one family, one love, one blood. Peace family, this is Doc Who, and welcome to Operation Black Independence. Today we want to talk to you about the economic benefit of gardening or growing your own food in particular. Whenever I talk about black economics, I like to compare D.C. and Baltimore. They're two cities that are relatively the same size. They're two cities that until recently had a predominantly black population. They're two cities that are very close in proximity. So when we're talking about black economics, people get confused and they think that money is the focal point of black economics. But money couldn't be the focal point of black economics because as we look at these two cities, you'll find that in Baltimore, the cost of living is much cheaper than the cost of living in D.C. And on top of that, let's make it much more basic than that. We don't have to get too fancy. Did you know that the cost, the average cost of tomatoes in D.C. is $2.99 per pound? And we're not even talking about organic tomatoes. We're just talking about your GMO <laughs> genetically spliced tomatoes that they sell in your average grocery store. $2.99 per pound. In Baltimore, same tomatoes are one dollar and seventy one cents per pound so whatever the reason that you can come up with that there's such a disparity in the prices in tomatoes if you're truly practicing common sense economics then you don't even have to get into that conversation because whether the tomatoes are a dollar and seventy one cents per pound two dollars and ninety nine cents per pound or five dollars a pound whether you get a coupon or a sale paper that says come on down the tomatoes are on sale and so now you got to rush out and get in line and stand in line at the grocery store wasting gas and your time to get tomatoes you don't even have to concern yourself with any cost because to you the tomatoes are free that's common sense black economics so and not just black economics that's common economics the person that sells the tomatoes is the one that gets to set the price if you're a consumer then you're at the mercy of those that are setting the price but if you're not even playing the consumer or merchant game you don't even have to think about money at all that's common sense black economics that's the benefit of growing your own food Yeah.